together to try and represent that but um, what I recommend is just go go look on NASA's website for all the different names and just pick which ones you like I think is the best idea um, and, and make a pie using your favorite uh, favorite ones so anyway there we go okay so I think think that'll do um, one last thing I'm gonna do is just get a little bit of a milk wash the final thing I'm gonna do before this goes in the oven is to do a sort of milk wash you can do an egg glaze if you want but I always find that you never use up all the egg and then you have to have an omelette or something for lunch so milk will do um, the, the reason why I've chosen to do this is just to help the top crisp up a little bit as well but also the heart shape, the Tombow region, is split into two parts that have sort of been geologically identified as two separate regions. So one half is um, sort of smooth, there's no craters on there. Um, it's called the Sputnik Planum, Planum, I think. Uh, and the other half is, is just got a few more craters on and things like that. So geologically, the two areas are distinct. So to try and show that, uh, I was just going to do a quick milk wash all over it. But then sprinkle a little bit of demerara sugar, just over one half. And when that bakes in the oven, it should just show the difference between the two halves. Um, again, I'll leave it entirely up to you how accurate, geologically accurate you want to make it. Um, but there we go. Anyway, so there you go, you can take a look. So you needed to bake your pie at about 160 for about 40 to 45 minutes. Just keep an eye out on it and then make sure the pastry on top doesn't burn or singe. And um, what you need is it to be nice and brown and crispy, that's the pastry, but also the frangipan, the coconut frangipan to have set. So if it still looks a little bit wobbly, uh, depending on how juicy mango or your blackberries are, it might just affect the cooking time. Just turn it down slightly to about 140 and just keep putting it in for sort of 10 minute increments. Uh, until it's baked and set. And then when it's done, you can take it out of the oven and admire your creation. It smells absolutely amazing. Like the mango is amazing with the coconut smell. Uh, I'm really chuffed, because hopefully you can see in the camera, the uh, the milk glaze has sort of cracked uh, like the, um, the fissures that you can see on some of the pictures. Um, from the New Horizons probe of Pluto's surface in the Tombow region. So uh, yeah, that's come out much better than I expected. Um, I'd leave it to cool for just a little bit. Um, I wouldn't eat it straight away. Uh, you can eat it warm, you can eat it cold, and then have it with any form of topping like squirty cream or ice cream or yogurt if you like. Um, make sure you take pictures of your creations and share them with me if you've had a go at this at home. If you've enjoyed watching the video and want to have a go at any more of the Cy recipes, then head to the website and have a look at the baking kits and the recipe book that we have on offer. Anyway, happy International Women in Science Day for yesterday and happy Valentine's Day and Valentine's Day for this weekend as well. Happy baking. Thanks for listening. Bye bye. <laughs>